Now, if you were to turn on, like, an 80s workout video, <laughs> you would see... This reminds me of Rick Boogs. And that, and that is, a, in a positive way, when I say that, uh, Rick Boogs was uh, let go, apparently released by WWE. Uh, Rick Boogs, to me, he had a different look. He had that stash. He had the physique. He had a different presentation. Uh, when he first debuted, he debuted with Sinsuke Nakamura. You know, he played that air guitar perfectly. I don't know who knows if he even knew how to play the guitar. <laughs> he played the air guitar perfectly. And Mr. Boog's hype, energy, um, something that the crowd could get behind. The way he said Shinsuke Nakamura. I, I'm doing it wrong. Was the thing of beauty. Uh, they were a tag team, him and Shinsuke with Boog's. Uh, formidable. I mean, definitely had some uh, steam behind him. And then he got injured at WrestleMania. He got injured, uh, worked his way back, debuted. I believe he only had two matches, maybe. He had something going on there with, uh, something going on there with, um, uh, with, I'm sorry, with Elias, and that didn't work out. I uh, just kind of fell by the wayside. Elias, dis Elias disappeared. Uh, then he had something with LA Knight, where they were maybe going to be a tag team, and that did not happen for Mr. Boogs. And uh, I don't know why. Um, he he got a reaction. Uh, you know, just didn't work out. Uh, he was on TV. Can't say that he was not on TV. He got injured, and then he wasn't on TV. He came back, and maybe they weren't back, ready for him to be back. Uh, it seemed like they really had nothing for him. And unfortunately, that's uh, what happens a lot where, you know, there is nothing for him when they come back and they kind of linger on. Uh, if I was, you know, a promotion, I think Rick Boogs would be great. Um, he kind of has that old school feel uh, to him. I think he would be good in Impact. Uh, or I even think he would be good in um, NWA. Um, but yeah, I mean, this guy definitely uh, felt, you know, the, the crowd was behind him. Very high energy, uh, energetic, and... Uh, you know, it, it's it's over. Uh, I definitely wish him all the best. You know, they say when you're released by the WWE, that's almost like a perfect opportunity for you to go out there and reestablish yourself, reestablish your name, make your name even bigger. That way, WWE signing you, if you so want to be in WWE, is a no-brainer. And that's exactly what uh, Emma did. I think, Emma, who was released. Emma was on the, you know, she reestablished herself. She has a lot of sponsors, uh, you know, from what I remember on, you know, uh, what she was doing on Instagram. Um, you know, I believe it's modeling or a lot of outside influences. Reestablishes herself, you know, in ROH, in Impact. Comes back to the WWE and is almost like she is forgotten about. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, she was one of legit, one of the <coughs> uh, hottest name in the female, uh, as far as female wrestlers go. Comes back to the WWE and, you know, where she was bigger than what she was in. WWE the first time because this this was I believe her second time with WWE and she's still released like I, I do not know really uh, what do you have to do in Emma's case she reestablished herself as a bigger name you know unless WWE and and I think it will be foolish unless WWE considers you know only with what you know within their scope of the world you know maybe they don't even factor what she done in other organizations. Maybe that's second rate to them. You know, they might not even know. 
who knows? I mean, you figure when you bring in someone, uh, you would have something for someone. Uh, I believe when she uh, debuted, uh, it was against Ronda Rousey there for uh, kind of like a beat the clock challenge. Um, she then kind of, uh, you know, uh, was engaged or is engaged to Riddick Moss, uh, where they, w uh, you know, they started teaming them as a couple. If you figured that would go somewhere, they had, you know, potential to go somewhere, you know, with, you know, maybe a Johnny Gargano, Candice LeRae type of a feud, um, you know, it, it, it went with, uh, Karrion Cross and Scarlet. Uh, for a while, but then that dropped off as well, and I, I don't know. Uh, just seemed like they had nothing for her after they wanted to bring her back in. I think, you know, with the outside influences that she has, uh, she'll be great in wherever she decides to go. She could go to, I could easily see her in AEW being a, a threat, um, you know, to the women's division. She could even go back to Impact, where she was kind of at the top of the top of the pinnacle there of the knockouts division. A lot of sponsors. I am not worried for Emma at all. Uh, I think WWE made a mistake with Emma.